guys, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and we're out at our local park and this time we've got out the 24 scale hang longs. We have three options available. You see we have the Abrams here, US Abrams, we got the German Leopard and we got the Type 90 in a Japanese scheme. And these things are awesome, um, really awesome tanks with a lot of the scale functionality that their bigger brothers have in the 16th uh, scale size. But um, you're getting all that in a 24th scale size, less than 100 bucks. These are ready to run out the box. You've got a battery, you've got uh, a transmitter, you've got a charger that comes with it. It also has a targeting system. And then you've got a bunch of different scale accessories that you'll put on either one. I can show you some of the unboxing footage here. Again, when you pull it out, it's all wrapped up beautiful in styrofoam. Um, and you can see everything's got its place. So you have a box that has all your scale accessories. And again, each tank will have some differences as far as the guns and the little bits on them but they all get these hubcaps which are beautiful you can see they just pop on the tank really easy so then in the other box you're gonna have your bb's these are airsoft pellets they're the six millimeter kind um, and they give you a lot in the box which is great for a tank like this they should get other usage but you could always pick up more anywhere those are sold like your walmart or big box stores and things like that uh, you get your transmitter and again pulling it out all you're gonna need are three AA batteries and there's a little screw on the back that you take out and then in your accessories box you have the two uh, thumbsticks that just get pushed in so that you can use it and it's got great functionality we'll show you that uh, in a little bit and then you're gonna see again your charger comes from behind the accessories box in each one and then your battery down in the bottom there uh, comes out and that is a 2s 1800 milliamp lipo uh, it fits perfectly for these tanks and plenty of runtime um, for what these are going to be used for. And then lastly, you pull out your tank, and from there, again, pretty much everything is, is assembled. So then you just go through your accessory bins, make your guns, pop them on. You can use glue. Some of the plastic connections are just gonna slide or be a little slippery. A little bit of glue won't hurt it um, if you wanna put those things in. Your decals, these are just peel and sticks. So you peel them uh, one way off the back after you cut them out, and then you press them on and peel the film off. Uh, leaving just the sticker and they go on really easy. I had no problems with the uh, Abrams, the Leopard or the T90 and that's it. There's the three of them there and here's some shots of the way it looks up against the 16th scale just so you can see these 24th scale tanks are not small by any means. Here's the Abrams with the Abrams. Um, they look great at 24 scale. I can't wait to weather these things up. These are not only great models but the fact that I'm getting BB shooting, I'm getting IR compatibility, we'll show you in a second. You're getting turret traverse, the coil, the barrel goes up and down. You've got lights on it, you've got sound, you've got every, almost everything the big tanks has, even some proportional steering control, which is awesome, all in a nice compiled uh, package here. So let's drive them around. All right, so as far as turning it on, guys, again, three double A's are gonna be in your transmitter. You just press and hold the on button. And you're going to hear your noise. you got a red light there. And then on the bottom of the tank, again, our battery is already put in here. And you just slide this forward. I have footage of... Oh, actually, I'll show you now. So there's your battery. It goes in there. And now this goes... <laughs> and then that slides in. And then this slide is what locks it into place, which I like. It's a nice locking feature. And then just turn your tank on. And you'll see the two lights on the front. And then you take your transmitter and we have this locking button here and you're going to unlock the tank. And then you're going to hear it power on. Those lights, the front lights go solid and now she is ready for control. So I'm just going to hold it here quick um, to show you some of the controls. First things first, you can listen to the audio. Button A is going to be your volume control. So you got a couple different options. It's not like a slider. So this is the lowest setting. A little higher, a little louder. The loudest, I believe, and then back to low. And then your B button down here, that's going to give you recall and a fire without shooting the cannons. Then you've got your turret traverse, so that's attached to this stick. It's not full 360, but it'll go around almost uh, to a 360. I can hold it here. Like it'll go that far. Then to about there. So it doesn't do the full 360 but it looks good when it does it. Again, all the scale bits, so you add in your baskets on the Abrams, you add on the gun, the guy comes with it, so you could paint him up, and then a couple of, oh, I'm sorry, the leopard, and then a couple of the um, you know, front little bits that are all around. Each one is different as far as that goes. And then, can we put it on the ground here? So I'll show you. So when you load up your airsoft pellets, 
each tank has a place to load the BBs. So like we'll load some right here. And I'm, I'm, I'm amazed at the power coming from the, uh, the airsoft cannon. So I brought, oh, there's a couple on the ground. So I brought a bag that comes with it. You just fill up, fill up as many as you want in there. And then you can close it, you can push it down and it kind of locks in there. It's got like a press lock. And then what you want to do to fire the turret, you got to push both the left and right bumpers at the top at the same time and it'll fire. Boom. And we got some footage. Uh, it did some damage on one of these trees behind us. But you definitely don't want to get hit with that. But again, if you wanted to just fire, get the same reaction, you press the B button and you're not going to fire the pellet. So you can hear it load up. And then one button by itself, the L is a machine gun. You get the machine gun sounds. And you can see there's a red light on the front of each one for the machine gun. R does nothing by itself. And then on the right side, X and Y, and the trim buttons on the transmitter, that's for actually trimming the tank. The uh, top one trims the tank in forward motion, and the X and the Y will trim the tank in backwards motion. And you can refer to the manual as that uh, from that. But then everything else, so again, this is gonna move the barrel up and down. This is gonna traverse the turret. This is gonna drive the tank forward. This is gonna drive the tank back. And then this will rotate the tank. Spin it. Yaw it, if you will. And that's pretty much the functionality. So let's move it down and drive it around. All right, so we just wanna drive it around some regular motion for you. See uh, how it goes. So again, maybe we'll do 360. And of course, they're gonna drive back on like half test, so that's why we're starting here. So you like a top speed, so it's just gonna be full throttle. So it definitely moves unscale like but then you got proportion control. So now I'm gonna drive it full throttle and slowly bring the throttle stick down. See? You can get it going nice and scale. And then if you keep those motions, you can proportion it. Shoot it. And again, we got our target set up, so let's shoot it. Lowering my, lowering my barrel. Got it. Missed it. Missed it. Got hey. it again. Stay hey. there, fire again. It's almost dead. It's dead. Make it not dead. Not dead enough yet. There it is. I'm missing it now. It's a really cool the functionality. And then if you drive it in the in the brush over here, what you gotta watch out for like pine cones and stuff, you'll see it'll get stuck on them if you um if you're trying to uh you know if you run it down the center. But for the most part, it'll traverse bush, but then you get stuck on like these you got these vicious, what are they? I don't even know what they're called. Yep. So when you're all done, all you got to do is push the lock button. Here it shuts down the tank, so you know that you're off. Now none of the functionality will work when you have it locked. And then on the bottom of the tank, just flip the off switch and then push and hold your power button. And you're all good to go. So now you go charge your battery, come out again and play around. But overall, man, these are really, really fun. For less than $100, 24 scale tanks. They look the part. They have some infrared capability, which is awesome. They can shoot the airsoft BBs pretty good. And overall, sound, look, and drive like a tank. For less than 100, you can't go wrong. Guys, check out the links. All these are available right now uh, in the description. And as always, subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you for the next video. Bye, guys.